All right, so I'll try to uh, put the vacuum former through its paces here. Show the software. Turn on the DC power just for fun to power the relay so we can get the vacuum and turn on the AC. Um, it's nighttime and I'm on solar power so I'm not gonna run the run the heater for this but uh let's see how things work. So here's the basic start screen. You've got a slider to control the uh the heater position at the top when we're in the heat cycle and also the, the time and we can uh, increment and decrement those uh, values as we as we like so um, let's start off I'll go ahead and home the uh, on the bed there and uh, actually before we start I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, show you the configuration screen here so it should be pretty much configurable for um, any setup here with a pulse per, per millimeter calculate that with your steppers and your gear and then we've got mills, millimeters per second on the, our run speed and humming, homing speed. Uh, I'll explain those in a minute. Um, millimeters, the limit switch hysteresis, that's the magnetic limit switch. And uh, our height for the Z maximum and uh, our height for the load position. And uh, from this screen here, I can also uh, manually run the uh, run the motor up and down, come again. So I go back to the main screen. <coughs> And let's go ahead and pretend we're going to start a run. So the heater time is initialized from the value we had on the main screen there, the start screen. Got an auto vac setting. So if this is set to uh, to to zero, then we'll we'll have to press this button. It won't do the vacuum for us. So I'll go ahead and set that to a. Uh, a second's fine here. So um, this button largely acts as the stop button and this is like a step through the process when everything is going good. Um, so like right now um, the stop took me took me back to the main and so likewise uh, here the, the green button is the same thing as starting. So and I can either press the green button right now or uh, do the load. So I press load and that raised the stage to the load position, which should be noticed before I had that set to 108 millimeters. So at this height, presumably we would we'd have make sure that our uh, workpiece or plastic and uh, frame are in position and um, uh, likewise we would we would uh, position um, the workpiece uh, that we're going to form on the bed make sure that's that's centered here and then when we're ready we press start a little pause where we can abort I can press the uh, I can press the stop button while it's going up, and it comes back down to the load position in case I want to readjust something here now. So, but I'll so I'll go ahead and I'll 
start again. So now it's going up to the, the programmed height. Normally the, the heater would be on. So it would be warming up our little film of plastic. You can now see that the, uh, the timer is ticking down. And if I if I want to, I, well, this this time I'll just go ahead and, and let it let it run down here. So it's going to run down, and time's up. And first, you move fast down to the, the low position, and just a little slower to the final. We had the auto vacuum for a second. Now I can press the vacuum and. Give it another little dose if I want to. And uh, if it's 15, 30 seconds, a little window there where we can do the vacuum operation. And it goes to the done. So this is where I would kind of confirm done. Take, uh, take, take the frame off at this point. Have my piece. And then we. Uh, we load up and we start again. Okay, so you notice the uh, the count says says one um, from our first little run. So we've got this handy little um, part counter, um, and we're we're ready to start the second piece. Here, things are, we'll say things are, are loaded and ready to go. So, I'll press the green button. And we'll start our second run here. Now, this time, I'm going to go ahead and press the, the hold button. Likewise, once again, the, the green button would have done the same thing. So I can either tell it to go prematurely or I can let it let the time run out and go a little bit longer. I'm gonna let it go longer here. So normally it would would have started coming down now. We'd be headed for the vacuum stage. That's running longer. We see the, the total time elapsed is now showing there in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to go. And we move down to bed. Did the auto vacuum cycle. I'll give it a little more just for good measure. And that's our, our run. And so now we're done. And I press the uh, load. And we juggle things around. And we're ready for our next run. We've got two parts made. And our time has now been adjusted to 49 seconds from the, I think it was 33 that we started out with. So. And uh, so that'll just kind of be a temporary thing for for this little run that I'm doing right now, or I can uh, uh, press the uh, save time button, and now it's uh, in with the uh, the rest of the configuration that's saved to EEPROM. So so that's the. Uh, The basics here. So, um, this top is printed out of uh, PETG plastic, um, clear, so it's kind of cool. Without the uh, strong light, it, it uh, you can get the glow of the LEDs inside so. 
and the, the bottom is a, a regular PLA and you can notice the uh, heat sinks for the stepper drivers stick out the bottom and I got a little length of conduit there um, I couldn't print a big enough enclosure to get the uh, the wires for the stepper motors uh, fully inside the uh, enclosure without having to come out each end um, so kind of consequently we, we ended up with a, a three holes here instead of the one I might have liked here but um, this box is, is um, pretty darn close to eight inches wide so about as big as your, your average um, RepRap 3D printer can, uh, can make there. So. And likewise, that's a, a eight inch bed. Uh, so that, that gives this a, a, a comfortable uh, a six inch uh, work area there. And this is a, a, a an eight inch uh, square of plastic here, just for, for reference. So. Still need to, I'm gonna drill uh, four holes here. Uh, locate some some studs that'll act as positioning probably use some uh, wing nuts to uh, hold that down um, during actual operation here I was going to use some uh, clips after thinking about it, they'll probably get softened from the heater too much um, so just to take any questions out here I think the stud will work fine and, and you can see that one nice feature here is we got a nice little in a working area around this flange around the uh, around the stage there so I don't need to worry about something poking out the bottom of the, uh, the stage there so hope you uh, appreciate the design and maybe you'll want to build your own 3d printed vacuum farmer <laughs>